Hey, Mr. Aronson, how are you? Good, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you in person. Um, I'm here because basically I have nowhere to go. Sure. Um, and I know you filed the initial paperwork, but I also know that could take months. Um, when I talked to Austin in the Washington, D.C. office, he was, of all the Congress people I called, he was the staffer smart enough to say, hold on a second, and he turned on a recorder mm -hmm. to try to get part of my story. What I need to do is to give a full, if you guys have a video camera or somewhere to record it, I need to give my full story now. I mean, we don't have any cameras here, but I mean, I, I do have all the information that you included mm -hmm. on your blog and stuff like that. Yeah. So. I just, I don't know where to go. I have no money. I have no way to work. I, they don't even let me panhandle now. Now that, now the places that I go to panhandle, three other guys show up and stand between me and the other people and give me funny looks while they, I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm, I got nowhere to go. I got nothing to do. And the FBI right now, there's an agent trying to get my daughter pregnant again. And I mean, this what can we do? I'm going to sleep here in the courtyard until you guys help me. Well, I mean, we're doing everything we can. All, all we can do is get an answer from the FBI. We can't change the outcome of the situation. We can't. Well, all... I, I don't expect the FBI to cooperate with you. My point is, is that there's only two options here. Either I'm crazy and this is all in my head or this is really happening. And if this is really happening, and if federal agents raped a disabled, a mentally disabled girl solely to try to get her father to commit an act of terrorism, try to realize the gravity of that. Sure. No, I understand, sir. And like I said, all we could do is get an answer from the FBI. So I'm going to send this, your, your paperwork and the information you put no, at our office. No, just the FBI? Because I put on, I, I mean... You put the, DHS, I believe, as well, too. DEA. The DEA. Okay. Because I'm, I, I'm sure the DEA is involved in this. I dealt with, I mean, I, the amount of stuff I dealt with when I was a, a medical cannabis activist, which is what started all this, the DEA is definitely involved in this as well because they were intimately involved in all that went down in San Diego. So I, I mean, sending, I understand the process, but I also know that your boss could make a phone call and confirm that what I'm saying is true, confirm that there really is an investigation of me. And if you do that, then everything changes. Mm -hmm. Because try to realize just now I grew up a Democrat. So what I'm about to say hurts me like on a political level. But if what I'm saying is true and the Obama Justice Department raped a disabled girl just to get her father to commit an act of terrorism, try to imagine what politically what that will be for you guys. I mean, always what, what Democrats have always had over Republicans is Democrats are the nicer. Republicans are always meaner. That'll never exist again if Republicans on in their campaign speeches can go out and say, Obama's Justice Department raped a dis mentally disabled girl to try to get her father to commit terrorism. They're not nice. There's nothing, I mean, that, is, that, that violates the Geneva Convention. It violates any term of decency. And what do I do? I mean, I understand you're going to file paperwork, but what do I do? I mean... Like I said, that's all we can do is just to file this casework and get an answer from the FBI. I can follow up with them. We we allow all agencies 30 days to get back to us, and then we have then we can follow up via phone call to get it to see what the status of your case is. But it does take time. Right. We can only we can only work as fast as we can work, and we'll make sure that we, we get an answer from the FBI and see. What's so going so on. what 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 do you? I mean, all right, so their answer is either going to be, yes, we're investigating, or no, we never heard of them, right? Those are basically going to be their two answers. So they admit they're investigating me and that this has gone on for nine years. Then what happened? I don't know, sir. I mean, I, I'm not, I've been trying to follow, like, to read up on your case. I'm not sure what they would have to say. I'd be curious to hear what they have to say <laughs> on this. True. But when we do hear, you'll be the first to hear, too, so... And what do I do until then? <laughs> I, mean, I spent my last five dollars on on a bus ticket to get to Bakersfield so I could come to this office so you guys could see that I'm a human being. This is what I'm. Uh, this is my stuff. I have to push it around because I've been fired from my last five jobs because they will not let me work. And the last job uh, from Greenpeace, it was obvious that the FBI had me fired because the the process by which I was fired could not have happened with Greenpeace by itself. But 
What do I do? I mean, I we have I could refer you to a job center. I could... <laughs> I'm not going. To... I got a job with Greenpeace. I did well. My boss fired me because the FBI told him to. Two weeks into my job. Okay. So going to get another job is not an option. They will not let me work. How they. You, okay. How do you consider seeking free legal counsel? From. There's a Greater Legal Services local of uh, Bakersfield. It's the Kern County uh, organization, and they could tell you if you have a case or not, and they could research and do the research for you. I guess that'd be a start. I know I reached out to the the um, ACLU four separate times and never heard back. I'd be happy to get you their information. Uh, I guess that'd be a start. They provide free legal services. Change their walking distance. I'm not sure of where. I literally don't have a dollar left to my name. And at this point, you got to understand my position. If I commit an act of terrorism today, the story comes out. Well, I would suggest not committing. An yeah, act of I don't want to. I refrained for nine fucking years, but no one will help me. Okay. So, please help me. Well, like I said, we'll do everything our office has in its power to do. Thanks. Thank you for your help. Sir. About 10 minutes later, I'm stopped by police, including a plainclothes FBI agent. I didn't get most of it on tape, but I got this part. I'm a special agent with the FBI. Okay. I'm sorry, you what? I'm a special agent with the FBI. Okay. Okay. So, your complaints with the FBI. Uh huh. Right? Yes. Can you tell me? Briefly, uh -huh. what the deal is. Okay. Nine years ago, I stood up at a San Diego Board of Supervisors meeting and I said some inflammatory things. From that point on, the FBI has been, well, for the first couple of years, they just kind of monitored me, but from the last six years or so, they've been torturing me. Agents have raped and tortured my daughter. No, she's here in Bakersfield? Not in Bakersfield, in California, though. Where? Uh, well, it's happened all over. It's happened, the, the actual rape happened in Lancaster. How do you know it's an FBI agent that did that? Well, it may be a DEA agent. I don't know, but okay, whoever. But, but hang on. So you're already starting to, to shift because you're no, going I'm not there starting and you're to shift starting to because say, hang on. Okay. I don't want to get all confrontational here, but okay. but here's the deal. If you're going to tell me that it's all FBI, 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 uh -huh. and now when I ask you who it is, and you're going to say, well, maybe it's somebody else. Uh -huh. Maybe it's somebody else. You're How would I know? That's what I'm asking you. Okay. Why? Why well, do you think it's a DEA agent? Well, because of how much drugs they do, I would assume that some of them are DEA agents and the fact that I worked for a dispensary in San Diego that was run by the DEA. And I was set up to spend 20 years in jail until I walked away. So I know the DEA has something to do with this considering the whole thing started because I was a medical marijuana activist. Okay, but, okay. but now, the last five employers that have fired me, fired me because somebody went to them with the national security letter and told them to fire me. Now, I don't know if it was the FBI. You have that letter? Are you retarded? I'm just asking. Okay, it's a national security letter. If they admitted to me that they fired me because the FBI told them to, they would go to jail. So I have no way of proving any of this. So I went to my congressman's office and tried to avail myself of my constitutional right to have them look into it. Now, I said something to try to get them to care a little more, and that obviously sent them to call you. So my question to Dee Brantley here is what what is the perimeter of where I'm allowed to be? If they're not allowing me on the property, I am legally allowed to be on the sidewalk in front of their property, correct? You are correct. Thank you. Right. That's where I will be. Okay. The only question that I have is uh -huh. you have no uh, desire to do any type of act of terrorism, violence, or anything like that. If I had, I would have done it long ago. That's not what I asked. Okay. Are you right now? Do you want to go commit some type of act of terrorism, violence, or anything like that? I do not. And I would like the FBI to stop trying to make me do that by raping and torturing I'm, my daughter. I'm right here. I'm not doing that. No, you're not. But okay, so someone so raped talk. and tortured my daughter. Okay. And the reason they did that was so I would commit a terrorist act. Okay. okay. Today you now don't I feel like doing that? No, I never felt okay. like doing it. I want them to That's, fucking leave me alone. We will. And I want you all to realize that this is real. Okay. This is a real thing that the FBI has tortured my family. She's mentally disabled and she was raped because they were trying to push me to commit a terrorist act. Okay? okay. That's what's going on here. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Well, we're great. As long as you're not doing anything today, anything here in Bakersfield, we're good. All right. Have we're a great day. Much.